I want to associate myself with my colleague, Senator Lautenberg, when he said, please don't compare what happened in Japan to a problem on an airplane. Well, Senator, if I could add, I was not comparing okay. a problem on an airplane. What I was suggesting was that in the way that airplanes, uh, older vintage airplanes, often get updated and modified and uh -huh. continue to fly, nuclear power plants are, are the same in that way, sure. that they have been modified and upgraded over the years as they operate. So I was not comparing uh, okay, the situation in Japan. I, I apologize for, uh, for the confusion about that. Thank you. Um, and then you said something, <clears throat> you said, dealing with a reactor like this, I assume you mean the one in Japan, is straightforward. You just have to cool it down. Well, huh. why weren't they able to cool it down? What went wrong? Well, why can't they cool it down? Senator, I, I really don't want to speculate on that. Uh, and again, I, I, uh, my responsibilities are to, to the U.S. nuclear power plants and the facilities in this country. So we've looked at these kinds of scenarios uh, and looked to, to, to see that we could provide the kind of systems and, 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 and uh, procedures that would allow us to deal with these very, very unlikely events. And uh, so, again, I, I don't want to speculate on what happened in Japan. We will, in, in, in okay, very short order, start working Okay, I'm just making a point. You brought it up and said dealing with a reactor like this is straightforward. That's mm -hmm. what you're saying. Now, either you're criticizing Japan because they, made, they didn't understand that, which I find it hard to believe, but I'm not going to go any further into it. It just leaves questions. Now, in your absence, I asked your very able executive director, uh, Bill Borchardt, to answer the question. He didn't have this particular answer. He was going to bring it back for me. And I don't know, maybe you know it, because it follows up on what Senator Gillibrand is talking about, which is the earthquake zone plants. Now, this is a very large country. And I just don't get why we have so many plants on earthquake faults, OK? But I don't get an answer yet. How many plants do we have? I know the two in California are certainly sitting on or close to approximate to earthquake faults. Do you know how many others are situated well, that way? The, the way we really look at this is, is we, we don't really think about it in terms of faults. What, what we think about it in terms of seismic activity. OK. Uh, how many, then, are near seismic activity? Well, we have uh, low, medium, and high areas how of seismic activity. How many are low, activity. medium, and high all combined? That, that information we can get back to. Uh, but the, 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 the plants that are in the high seismic areas is, is a relatively well, small Well, I want to know high, medium, low. Let me tell you why. Mm -hmm. I, want, I don't know if you saw this today, the Los Angeles Times. California tsunami could come with no warning. And um, it quotes John Parrish, who is a California state geologist. And he said, Mother Nature, I'm quoting him, is notorious for not obeying rules that we make. Let me repeat that. Mother Nature is notorious for not obeying rules that we make. We go in and we decide what the earthquake risk is. And Mother Nature says, excuse me, you didn't ask my opinion. And that's a fact. Now, I'm very concerned. Because this Japanese plant, I, I'm not asking you to comment on it. You don't want to comment on it. Was built to withstand, I believe, a 7.5 earthquake and a 9.0 happened. Let me ask you, forget about the Japanese earthquake, just in general. Given the stakes which are unbelievable. Do we know how many Japanese have been evacuated from their homes? Uh, I, I have seen some reports of uh, um, amounts in, in the several hundred thousand. Several but again, hundred, I, several hundred thousand. Several uh, hundred I'm sorry, thousand. several hundred. Several, several hundred. hundred thousand. And I pointed out uh, before you came that we have seven million within 50 miles of San Onofre. We have about a half a million uh, near Diablo. That's a lot of people. They live in within 50, 50 miles. And I pointed out that you have, I believe, wisely suggested to the Americans that they move away further than 50 miles. So you're talking about something that could happen of such a proportion that this country has never seen before. When you're, and I was looking at Senator Gillibrand's state. Her nuclear power plant, I believe, is surrounded by 16 million people. Is that right, Senator? 16 million within a 50 mile rate. So, so this isn't just an academic conversation, and I know you know that. So 
for me and for Senator Feinstein, we, we're, we just sent a letter to you asking for immediate inspection of our two plants. I want to ask you something that Mr. Reichert wasn't familiar with. Um, I mean, Borchardt, I'm sorry. Um, are you aware that a, a 2008 California Energy Commission report said that San Onofre could experience larger and more frequent earthquakes than the maximum seven predicted when the plant was designed in the 70s? Are you aware of that? Uh, I, I, I believe we, we, have, uh, we, have, we have that report. Uh, I'll confirm that for you, though. Well, I just want you to go back and read it again, mm -hmm. because our understanding is that the NRC has not taken any of that report into account and has done nothing about this report. I'll certainly take that back and yes. see what we've done with it. So we're going to ask you to do immediate inspections and to comment on why nothing has been done. As a matter of fact, Senator, if I, if the I could licensure, let me just finish. Sure. The licensure is going on right now for both of our plants. Is that correct? For Diablo. And we know for sure that there's information from experts that tell us that Diablo, um, that there are seismic studies that show there are new faults that were never known about before. And yet, you're going ahead with a licensure. That's what we understand. And you plan to do that 2012, and the utility won't have that new study ready for three years. What I'm saying is, I got to be totally straight from the heart with you. What has happened is a tragedy. It's unfolding. It's out of control. And we all feel that our hearts are very heavy for the people there. We also have a responsibility to our constituents. That is my highest responsibility. That is Senator Lautenberg's, it is Senator Gillibrand's, and all of us, Senator Inhofe's, all of us. That's what we're here to do, protect them. Now, I don't have the answer on how many plants are near earthquakes. You're going to get me that information. But the fact that there's any disturbs me. Well, and, Senator, and, and, the fact that, and the fact that a tsunami could come with no warning worries me. And the fact that no one predicted a 9.0 worries me. And the fact that I have multiple millions of people to worry about. And I can't really look them in the eye and say never. So I'm saying to you, you're, you're taking no... Right now, according to your executive director, you're doing nothing new. Nothing, not one thing. I haven't heard anything. I look at what Germany is doing. I look at what EU is doing. I look at what Switzerland is doing. None of them are panicking at all. They're just being, I think, wise. They're just, OK, let's take another look at these places that have seismic activity. Let's shut down temporarily the ones that are pre-1980. I don't hear anything proactive. And I worry about that. Why should I not worry about that? Please tell me why I shouldn't worry about that when I go to sleep tonight. Well, as I said, Senator, first of all, uh, we are going to be looking very seriously at what happened in Japan. And if we get information that tells us that there's a safety issue, we'll take action on that immediately. So uh, we, we are not uh, doing nothing. Uh, in addition, we, we do have uh, inspectors at our plants that are there all the time. So we have uh, at each site at least two inspectors. So we, we are constantly doing inspections at the facilities. Uh, the other thing, as I said, I, I think it, you know, it's certainly something that we do look at. And, and I, I share your concerns. The, the people at the NRC have exactly the same concern that you do. It is for the American people. That is our only responsibility, right. is to ensure that they're protected and they stay safe. And the men and women who come to work at the agency every day are, are some of the most dedicated people oh, in government. Oh, I don't question and, them. I don't question that. I'm not questioning that. They're wonderful. And in times of crisis, they're heroes, OK? I'm not going there with you. What I am saying is it's the policymakers that decide. Now, this is an extraordinary event in history, in history. Just turn on the TV. Look at the faces. Look at what's happening. And we already know one thing. Please tell me if you think I'm wrong. We know that there was a 9.0 earthquake 
and that was not predicted. And that the cushion that was built in there to make sure things, as you said, it's real straightforward, Madam Chairman. You just cool it down. It, it couldn't be done. Now, I'm not asking you right now why, but I am saying to you, is this not a warning that we should be humbled that there was a 9.0 earthquake in a place when they never, ever thought? Wouldn't you immediately say, as the lead person with all the American people behind you, guess what? I'm independent, I represent the American people, and I want to make sure, and I'm going to go back to every plant that's on a nuclear, and not wait two years, find out now, are there new studies like there is at Diablo? And we are not going to issue any relicense unless we make sure, as Senator Gillibrand says, that we go back and retrofit. Is that too much to ask? Just look at these plants that are on earthquake and look at the ones that are really old, like Bernie Sanders, one where I think he's got over a million people within 50 miles. So I think what we're asking is not for some major breakthrough of any sort, but just can we take another look and put some teeth behind it and put a timetable behind it and do these immediate inspections and not say, well, we're waiting to learn from Japan because here's what we know. They didn't predict that size earthquake. They didn't build in enough cushion. And as far as I'm concerned, after that point, what we all know to be quite straightforward couldn't happen anymore. So I guess I need reassurance. Well, Senator, as I said, we, we, are not, uh, we are going to move forward with a review, a systematic and methodical review of the information in Japan. And, and I would add, we, I, and again, I don't, I don't know uh, the system in Japan, but as I said, we, when we look at these historical earthquakes, we don't just take what we think is the maximum. We actually look at what the maximum historical earthquake is, and then we add something to that to, to make sure that we've, we've captured the, the uncertainties. But we don't stop there, because we know that there may be things that, that we've, we've not identified and we've not analyzed. So we have a, a, a robust program in this industry to look at what we call severe accidents. To when you look say at you have a robust program in this industry? I'm sorry, one of the ro most okay. robust Let me just programs conclude, in this country. Let me just because my time is, has run out, and I want to turn to Senator Luttenberg. The two plants in California were built with 1970 assumptions. It is 2011, and I know they undergo routine checks, et cetera, et cetera. I am telling you that there's a report there that calls attention to problems at both plants. I am not asking you to answer me now because you will get a letter from Senator Feinsteiner from me. We want to have those plants inspected. We want reassurances. We want answers. We want you to look at the state commission. And we're going to follow this up. Um, I'm looking to you for, for more leadership than, 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 I, than I've gotten, and, and, and maybe I've missed it. And if I did, forgive me, but I'm going to be, I can't mince words. I've got two plants with millions of people within 50 miles that were designed in the 70s, new information about earthquakes, and I need you to take a look at it. Senator Lautenberg. <laughs> 